Welcome back to the Ferris Sports Update. Joined now by head coach for Ferris State Hockey, Bob Daniels. And coach, thanks for joining me today. Good to talk to you. Harrison, good to be here. Obviously, uh, a lot of news coming, uh, coming up right now in Bulldog hockey, but as we look a little bit further forward into the future of what's going on, um, maybe 2021 and years out, we've obviously got some exciting news with the CCHA coming up, and obviously they rolled out their new logo. I know for you as someone that really grew up as a coach in the CCHA, this has got to be pretty exciting for yourself. Yeah, it is, and uh, it, it, uh, we've got one more year left with the WCHA. We're really looking forward to that. I felt like we've been a, a really good member of the WCHA since uh, since we started a number of years ago. Uh, we won the, the regular season title in the WCHA. We won a playoff title, um, but it's good to return home to the CCHA as well. And, and um, you know, there we've won two regular season titles, so we, we look to add to that history. But the one thing we've talked about as a team um, so far is that this is our last year in the WCHA. It's a very historic conference, and we want to make sure we're a good member right through the 2021 season. Before we switch back to a little bit more WCHA talk, we did talk about uh, Don Lucia, the new commissioner of the CCHA. I know a guy that has a tremendous amount of cash as a head coach formerly in college hockey, national champion. Um, we're talking a little, we've also talked a little bit about St. Thomas. I think uh, it might show that right away on the job that Don Lucia has had a lot of pull as uh, St. Thomas goes to Division One. It wasn't too long before they joined the CCHA. Yeah, we, we've got a great commissioner in, in Don Lucia, and he obviously, he's got the coaching experience. I've known Don for 30 years. He used to coach at Alaska Fairbanks in, in the CCHA. Then he went on to Colorado College and then uh, in uh, the University of Minnesota. We played his teams over the years uh, at the University of Minnesota as well. So my relationship with him goes back 30 years, and he is uh, – unbelievable person, integrity, oozes integrity, very well organized, um, and he's going to do a terrific job. And you're right, you know, bringing St. Thomas in so early, and, and it's a great addition to the CCHA. It's, uh, for those that aren't familiar with that program, they're, they're located in the Twin Cities. Um, they do everything right. Um, they're going to be a, a natural fit for all the institutions uh, that currently comprise the CCHA. And we're, we're thrilled to have them. And we're equally excited about uh, Don Lucia, too. And the interesting thing with Don is he, you know, he's doing this because he loves hockey, and, and specifically he loves college hockey. And, uh, and he really, he, could, he retired from coaching a number of years ago, didn't really need a job, um, but this was there. It's a way to stay involved, and he really thinks he can make a difference. Uh, he loves college hockey, as they say, and he wants to see it perpetuated. Obviously, wanted to be a good member of the WCHA. We look forward to this year, a hopeful chase for the McNaughton Cup again, and a thing that will carry over to the CCHA next year. But as you look back towards uh, this year's team and this year's um, task at hand. We obviously don't know what's ahead in terms of schedule or anything yet, but um, how do you like the way your team, I guess, is coming together? I know it can be kind of tough to tell with a lot of Zoom meetings, but how do you like the team your way is built right now? I, I think we've got a pretty good team built. Um, you know, I, I'm like anybody else, though. Right now, the important thing is we, we want to get on the ice. We want to compete. Um, this will be a, a totally different year than, than what any of us are accustomed to. And, and success, uh, you know, I think for everyone is going to be just graded on um, how safely we can get back and we, we can turn to, uh, return to action, return to competition. Um, there's a lot of moving parts to this, Harrison. I, I give a lot of credit to our current WCHA administration uh, under the guidance of Bill Robertson. Um, I know our own institution has put in countless hours, uh, not only for hockey, but for all the sports to return to some semblance of competition. And as I say, this is not an easy thing. It's not a, a, a fixed target where you say, okay, on this date, we know everything's going to be okay. This is the day we're going to be able to go and, and, and just worry about competition and not worry about COVID. Well, that's just not the case. Uh, it's a moving target. It's a, a difficult uh, for everyone involved, um, and it affects a lot of people. So, you know, the key, I think it's going to be a, a tremendous success on a number of fronts. And the other thing I find, you know, really refreshing throughout all this is the collegiality we're seeing 
uh, between the institutions and between the coaching staffs. I think all of us have uh, the student athletes' best interest in mind. We want to see them out there. We want to see them doing what they enjoy most, and that's competing. Um, but we also all want a safe environment. And, and so, um, you know, it's looking like the schedule's coming together. Um, it's not completely 100% yet. Um, and, and again, I, I, I'm just amazed at the hours that people are putting in um, to, to see this season get up and, and running. Obviously, one of the things that is an unknown every year in a year of unknowns is what you're going to get out of your freshman class. And I know you brought in a freshman class this year, a larger one, but one that graded out pretty high in the country, that graded out over some of the better programs in the country. So I know a good work done by Drew Family, but as you start to integrate these freshmen, uh, what are you hoping to see out of this group? I know it, your underclass will make up such a big group of this team. Yeah, they do. And, but I'd like, I'd like to say that we consider ourselves one of the premier programs in the country so um, it, you know to us it, it, it's expected and and this is a really good class um, you know I, I from the net out we you know we're going to be very young on on the defensive end we've only got one upperclassman and Justin Smith the rest are all sophomore and freshmen and we knew this day was coming you know we, we uh, had a lot of great years with Rutkowski and and Nate Callen and that group um, and we were counting down the days to the, the you know sorely that, that, that we were going to miss them. Um, but, you know, the one time we had this many freshmen on the back end was 11-12. Uh, I think we had four freshmen in the lineup in the national title game. So, you know, just because they're young doesn't mean they're not experienced. And, well, um, you know, I'd like to give you a really a better read. I, I can only give you a read off of what I saw of them previously. We have had su such limited practice time to this point that it, it's really hard to say where everything's going to fit in. And that's, that's the exciting part. Once we're able to get on the ice as a full group, a full team, um, then we'll see where the chemistry and where everybody works in together. Uh, you know, so um, that's the best part of the year. Uh, that's the most exciting part. But we, we are, uh, you know, really looking um, for a lot from this freshman class, not only this year, but in the years to come. And the NCAA just came out with a, a ruling uh, in which all players will be given an extra year um, So that in any winter sport. So hockey, obviously, being a winter sport, um, doesn't matter how many games we play this year, all players will be granted another year eligibility, including our seniors, including the freshmen. Um, now, whether they all want to use that, if they get their degrees and want to you know, try professional hockey, remains to be seen. But I thought that uh, interesting uh, um, you know, uh, ruling coming down from the NCAA. So you get ready for uh, hopefully a hockey season coming up here soon. I know you're looking forward to getting on the ice and training with the guys here hopefully shortly soon. What's going to be maybe the number one thing you guys got to get done in order to be ready to play? Well, I think conditioning is the number one thing this year. I, I really do. And that's uh, injury avoidance. Um, these kids, a lot of them, depending upon where in the country or, or, or where in the world they're from, um, did not have access to gyms. Um, they did what they could in their basements. Uh, they, they made makeshift weights uh, in garages. And, uh, you know, so we have a lot of work to do with conditioning. And a lot of our probably systems and stuff are, are going to be done simply through video and via chalkboard. And we're going to use most of our time trying to make sure we're in the, the right shape to compete and, and avoid injuries. Well, Coach, thank you for joining me again today here on the Fair Sports Update. Thank you, Harrison. When we come back, we'll catch up with Kevin McDermott, photographer for Ferris State Athletics, next to the Fair Sports Update.